Hello, I'm Dr. Randy Beers. I'm a practicing urologist at Metro Urology in the Twin Cities. I do a lot of minimally invasive procedures in the office, cool thermal therapy and Prostiva. And over the last 15 years, I've become a firm believer in using a prostate block prior to these minimally invasive procedures. It makes the patient much more comfortable and I can do a far better job with my procedure using a prostate block. Today I'd like to sh spend a little time and show you my modified prostate block for achieving good comfort for in-office procedures. For this procedure I will be using a 22 gauge needle and inserting a total of 20 cc's of lidocaine, 1%, into the prostate. 10 cc's on the right and 10 cc's on the left. The patient has been prepped with ciprofloxacin ahead of time and often an oral uh, relaxer medication. The ultrasound and the corresponding depiction of the anatomy, you can see clearly the prostate, the bladder, and finally the seminal vesicle. My first injection site is located here. This site is commonly termed Mount Blanc or Mount Everest and refers to the hyperechoic notch between the prostate and the seminal vesicles created by the fat between the rectum and the seminal vesicle. I will be injecting two or three cc's in this area. As I move to the second injection site, I will first stop and inject one cc of lidocaine between the prostate and the rectum. It is important to note that when I make my final injection, I go lateral and the seminal vesicle slips away in order to not go through the seminal vesicle. My final injection site is between the bladder neck and the prostate in this hyperechoic area. I will inject two or three cc's of lidocaine. The original prostate nerve block outlined by Nash in 1996 did not include this as part of his injection site. However, in my hands, using this method, it has helped immensely in reducing patient discomfort when performing an in-office procedure. It's important to note when that injection goes in, the tissue feels a little gritty and often the patient will have some discomfort indicating that you are in an area where there are nerves. Okay, so now let me show you how I do it. On our picture, you will see the prostate, seminal vesicle, You'll see the traditional Mont Blanc site, and then above that you'll see a, a hyperechoic area. My needle is going now into the traditional site of Mont Blanc. About three cc's will be injected in this area. And then I pull the needle back and leave another one or two cc's between the prostate and the rectum. And then I go back in and go lateral, again right through the Mont Blanc site, but this time I go above the mountain and put the uh, xylocaine above Mount Blanc in that hyperechoic area just below the bladder neck between the prostate and the bladder. You see the needle there and then you'll see a three or four cc's of injection xylocaine and then I pull back and we'll go to the other side. Now I'm on the right side. Here is the traditional Mount Blanc area. My needle going in about two or three cc's and then I pull back under the prostate leave another one or two cc's then I go lateral and go above Mont Blanc and put another two or three cc's in this area. Again, remember this will be a gritty feeling and the patient will experience some discomfort and that indicates you're in the right spot. Once the ultrasound probe is removed, I then massage the area and make sure there's no bleeding. Then proceed on with either my Prestiva or cold thermal therapy. Two important points following the block. Number one, because I've used a needle to stick uh, into the prostate area, I check for bleeding doing a digital rectal exam. And then at the same time, I massage in the xylocaine because there can be as much as 20 cc's there. It's nice to massage it in so you get the full effect of the amount of xylocaine that uh, you put in. When I use CTT, it's also important to get it massaged in because it can affect the temperature monitoring of the rectal probe. Since I have been using a prostate block prior to cool thermal therapy and Prostiva, I've noticed a marked change in patients' comfort. They're usually very comfortable. Some patients will even sleep through the procedure, and it allows me do, to do a better job with my minimally invasive procedure. We're all familiar with the multiple core biopsies that are being taken now, and we know that a local anesthesia for this is very important to keep the patient comfortable and allow you to do more biopsies. So it makes sense to go ahead and use a prostate block when using cool thermal therapy or Prestiva.
please give it a try. I think that you'll find a patient very satisfied with the block.